guys, I'm the Canadian Reviewer. This time we're going to do another video review, surprisingly or not. This is going to be another video review. Yay! Anyways, this time we're going to take a look at one of the harder to find Power Core Combiner toys. This is Steam Hammer with the Constructicons. Let's take a closer look at it. And finally, we have uh, what was a steam hammer with the Constructicons fully transformed into their alt modes. Let's take a closer look at them. So here is the Driller Constructicon drone. As you can see, well, it is not bad. It does have a giant drill on the front of it. I think my major problem is that it doesn't really go on the ground that much unless you pop it out like that and get it pretty much into the combined mode. But I think it's a little nifty little drone. Seems very useful, especially if you want to drive into something. And in case you're wondering, yes, this does come off, and no, it's not a gun, at least from what I can tell. Like, you can't use it as a weapon itself. Maybe. I I'm not too sure. Um, I guess the real unfortunate side is that there's some detail on this side that's not on this side, but uh, with this, I think I can accept it, pretty much. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Let's move on to the next drone, but otherwise, I kind of do like this one. And here we got the... Yeah! I'm not too sure what it is. I should have brought out the box. What is cool is the back ramp can move, and uh, as well as the front shovely thingy. I guess it picks up dirt and goes to the back here, so... You can move, you can move dirt from here! to there. How fun. It's not bad. I can definitely see the use into this, but nah. I still kind of like it. And here we got the snowplow? Seriously? Like, I know what kind of snowplow this is. I have seen the Mythbusters episode where they try to crash a cart in half. But a snowplow? I'm not even too sure if that counts as a Constructicon vehicle. Apparently it does. Um, it's white and green. I can find the function into it being a Constructicon, you know, whatever. I mean, it's the same thing as a bulldozer, but it's a snowplow. It is. Still, though, I kind of do like it. And here's the roller drone, which has awesome details on the front of the roller. I forgot to mention on the snowplow. The snowplow has awesome details, too. Um, same with, uh, this guy, Steam Hammer. He has some really nice details, but I think it shows up more on this. Doesn't roll too well. And it's very, very simple. I'm just wondering why the seats are backwards. I don't know anything about these vehicles, but that looks like it would drive this way rather than that way. Or maybe... I don't even know. I kind of like it. And now the bulldozer. Why would they incorporate a snowplow and a bulldozer? That doesn't make a whole lot of sense, but okay. Kind of. It's, it's kind of a small bulldozer. It kind of reminds me of a Rampage, mostly due to the claws on the back and just the overall shape of it kind of reminds me of um, a certain Constructicon from Revenge of the Fallen. Nice Decepticon logo right there. Some nice paint details right here. 
but it's kind of mixed with a dull gray, which... I don't know. I'll buy it. Overall, not too shabby at all. You can definitely see the power core combiner point, but whatever. I kind of do like it. Now let's move on to the robot mode and then the combine mode. So finally, here we have Steam Hammer in his robot mode. Now this guy has to be my second favorite main power core combiner piece because it is absolutely gorgeous. Let me just look at it. Look at it. It is kind of small, I will admit. It's probably the smallest one out there. But you gotta love those claws. I mean, look at them. They can fold up if you like. I like to have them down. Uh, it does have a lot of back kibble, but I really do not mind. I really do like this figure. And I've found out there is a variation between this figure. Um... There's actually a few of them with these black pegs, and a couple of them with green pegs. Very small, very minor variation, but a variation nonetheless. It, it's full of great articulation. I, I think my biggest problem is that the uh, backpack seems to hit the arms and you know, the backpack, whatever, blah, 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 but the backpack can move, you can also fold these out if you like, um, unfortunately though, it, it, it's kind of tricky to use these back tread things as guns, overall, I really, really do like this guy, I really do, I, I think if you got Revenge of the Fallen Dirt Boss, I think he can work with this guy, just so well. Now let's look into the combine mode. And there you can see Heavy Tread in his combine mode. Now I said that the robot mode looks great, but I think the combine mode looks really, really impressive. Seriously, this is actually a really good power core combiner toy. I, I, the head is okay it's a little different and reminds me of prime sound wave with antennas like optimus prime but i can see past that and it looks good for this character now the head doesn't really rotate all too well but i think that's fine i kind of like how the treads are up like this and i just love the look of this guy i love how the legs i may not like the tabs because they feel like they're gonna break but I love how they use that to combine that to make the upper leg and how they uh, make it wire because usually it was just you fold up the leg and this was supposed to be part of its waist. But it, it, it never looked proper to me. It looked like his leg was just going like this. Like if you see on the G1 combiner set, that's what they look like. But this guy looks fine. Um... His upper chest, you know, it, it's kind of big and kind of bulky, but maybe they're acquiring something from Revenge of the Fallen Devastator. Because you can pretty much call this guy Devastator. I, I call him Steam Hammer, but you can call him Devastator. Because, you know, he is with the Constructicon, so there you go. I kind of do like how the arms fold up in the back. Overall, I really like it. And the back kibble, yeah, it's kind of hit and miss with that. But I think that overall it makes out for a great, great combine mode. Let's stick on his little buddies. Now once again, this guy looks great. Out of the power core combiners at least. Um, there is a little bit of you have to do it yourself transformation in these because the arms are supposed to transform themselves. But Hasbro kind of cheats sometimes and you kind of do have to do your own stuff. But some of it kind of makes for modifications 
and you can do your own thing with them. You, you can make them look however you want. I'd like to say this guy also has great articulation because there's joints up here that m allow him to move his arms up. And uh, some of the Power Core Combiner toys have that. I think they all do, actually. But um, I think this guy works a little bit better, even though he's got this giant panel sticking out. The panel's on a hinge, so you can move that however you like. Um, the one Power Core Combiner... Uh, limb thing that's really loose on the joint. Uh, I've noticed that a lot of power core combiners they usually have one different limb that's kind of loose. What I'm saying is that I, I watched a review on this guy and someone said that this limb was loose. Well, it's fine for me. It's this limb that's very loose. But the good thing about this limb being loose is that it actually locks in. You can take up the little piece of the extra tread, fold that up, and it locks the entire arm into place. This shovel, you can also move however you like. This drill is on a couple of different joints, so you can move that uh, however you wish. And I love that. Um, De uh, Bruticus kind of had that shield on uh, Fall of Cybertron. This guy has a drill, so that's nice. Um, the arm, this arm has a little bit of articulation. Both have thumbs, which is nice. We already talked about the head, the legs right here. There's a knee joint and whatever. Overall, it has pretty impressive articulation in this guy alone. So, I'd recommend it. I really do. I can't remember what I said in my overall review because I filmed that uh, a couple of days ago. Maybe I said it was kind of hit and miss. I think he's very impressive. He's definitely my second favorite Power Core Combiner toy. I mean, let's face it, Mudslinger and Smolder are my other two Power Core Combiner toys. So, uh, Mudslinger's hit and miss. Smolder's very impressive. But this guy, this guy is definitely the second best, just because I really like uh, Smolder. This guy has uh, okay alt modes. This guy has a very nice robot mode, and it all makes out for a great combined mode. If you really do like the Power Core Combiner line, I'd recommend you go ahead and get this guy. Seriously. If you can, get this guy, because he's kind of hard to get. Go ahead and get him. It's not bad. So now let's go to my overall review. So overall do I highly recommend Stam Hammer with the Constructicons. Yeah, he's actually not bad. He's probably not the greatest toy out there, but uh, one of the better five pack uh, power core combiners that I can currently think of. Maybe Bruticus is a little bit better. I called the first Decepticon 5-pack Bruticus. You know, the one that came in the first wave. Anyways! I would recommend it anyways. Anyways, that is all now. I am the Canadian Reviewer. I'm going to read some bargain.